Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I have to start this video off with a correction. The other day I did a video talking about J.J. Abrams' involvement in the Constantine 2 movie, and I alluded to the fact that there was another actor better than Keanu Reeves who fit the role perfectly. I did say that I was going to talk about the actor, and I didn't. Now, I'll get into that when I go into the reading the comments on Sunday's video, but the fact of the matter is, is Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan played an excellent excellent Constantine in uh, the series that aired. I CBS, I think it was CBS that did it. Uh, he also did cameo appearances and Arrow and does the voiceover and does the voice work for uh, Constantine in the animated DC films. He is such a fantastic Constantine and uh, somebody had brought up like, hey, this character, like you didn't mention the actor at all. He's way better. And I should have, and I apologize for that. And that is my correction here. And again, I will probably address it on my Sunday video where I read everybody's comments. But I feel that that's important because doing some research based off of the comments in that video led me to this article. And I want to get into this so bad. So uh, real quick, we are drinking the Nordic Jam from uh, Two Pitchers Brewing, which is that one there. Uh, yeah, this one, this beer is so fantastic. All right, now that we have the formalities out of the way, let's get into the article. As long as I can hit my buttons right. Hey, look at that article. Canceled, HBO ditched two more projects from J.J. Abrams, not again. Okay, J.J. Uh, Abrams has seen two more projects dropped by HBO Max, the latest in his series of setbacks for the producer slash director. Deadline reports. That the uh, that the shows HBO has passed on are, con are a Constantine series, a new take on the DC character, which Abrams was working on with British novelist Guy Bolton, and Madam X, a supernatural series featuring DC Comics clairvoyant of the same name. Abrams has already seen three projects canceled this year. Back in June, news broke of uh, Demi... 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 Mond Demimond, sure. Which was uh broke that demo. Okay. Which was due to Abrams' first solo uh creation for television since Alias had been canceled by HBO due to spiraling costs. Then last month, Abrams saw two shows. Oh my god, all these ads. It's terrible. I need to get an ad blocker. Abrams saw two more of his shows get canned with Apple TV Plus pulling the plug on uh my glory. I had such friends which would have seen abrams reunite with the alias star uh jennifer garner uh and hbo ditched batman cape crusader a planned follow-up to batman the animated series which ran from 92 to 95 with abrams and the batman's uh matt reeves on the creative team um i want to throw this out here because this i always said i'd like to stay fairly positive on this channel this is a good thing jj abrams not being able to get some of these things going out there is good there are two reasons that it's good one is that hopefully he will stop just trying to go and take from other fandoms and things like that and try to corrupt things and tr hopefully he'll try to go create his own thing again i mean alias was good up until about the time it got insane but it was an okay series it wasn't bad for being his first series and hopefully he will stop taking from other fandoms and start going into his own stuff too what makes me very happy about this is that it seems that the money makers are saying no we're not going we're not going to let you just do what you want to do if we're not going to make money back which gives me very much a lot of hope for the future and what storytelling is going to do uh, right now i know obviously there's a lot of shows out there that are doing absolutely terribly but the diamond in the rough the one that a lot of people weren't going to be sure about was house of the dragon now i am not a game of thrones fan because i've never seen game of thrones by the time i was interested enough in it to watch it like season eight was coming out and I was like, I'll, I'll just binge watch it uh, when the whole thing comes out because people are telling me it's good. And then season eight tanked hard and everybody talked about it. And so I was like, okay, I'm definitely not going to waste my time on that. But house of the dragon is coming out and doing incredibly well. Um, it, it, it just, it just seems to be doing very well. People like it more and more people are watching it. It's making money. Top gun Maverick 
came out and just obliterated the box office for like two and a half months. I don't know if it's still in theaters, to be honest, but that thing was in theaters forever. And so I think and I hope that what we are seeing right now is some of these studios deciding that, hey, maybe it's time just a little bit to finally start putting the money where the money should go. It's not that hard. All you have to do is just think about what has made a lot of money, what continues to make money, and you'll be all right. Now, J.J. Abrams, he does these uh, big action movies, but a lot of people don't like what he does because he takes an existing property, completely bastardizes it, and then just walks away from the project and hands it off to somebody else. And by the time it's in somebody else's hand it's in such bad shape that he doesn't even have to take the fall for it of course then again you know when spielberg is the one pushing you forward like that i mean what are you gonna do right that's kind of one of the things spielberg has a lot of push in hollywood Deadline says that instead of Abrams Constantine series, HBO's parent company Warner Bros. Discovery has decided to pursue a long-awaited sequel to the 2005 movie version of Constantine, which starred Keanu Reeves as John Constantine, the supernatural exorcist and demonologist. Uh, the new movie, which will see Reeves reunite with Francis Lawrence, who has uh, since gone on to make billions with the Hunger Games franchise, and it's uh, not all bad news for Avram as he's slated to executive produce that movie. So I'm wondering if there was a contractual thing here. If they were like, you know what, Keanu's hot, Keanu wants to do a movie, we're going to scrap your series, but because we're doing that, we're just going to throw you on as a producer. That's... That is completely speculative on my part, but when I read this, that's how that read to me. Is It's like, okay, why? Why would HBO just kind of do that, right? So he'll still get some residuals. That does give me hope that he won't have as much control over the Constantine 2 movie, though. And that's why this is kind of a follow-up to that video. Unlike, uh, <clears throat> unlike in the original movie, which found Constantine in middle age... And on the verge of death, Abrams' series was based on the character's appearance in the Hellblazer comics, and it had... Uh, and had been due to be contemporary in setting as well as take place in London. The show has been in active development for more than two years, and Abrams will now shop the project to other studios and streaming services. So, potentially we're still going to get a bastardization of the Constantine series. Now, if this is a passion project of his and he actually liked the Constantine book, we could see something good from J.J. Abrams, which is a very rare thing, right? Like, again, last good thing that J.J. Abrams really did that I saw was Aliens. Like, and again, it was only good until it wasn't good. It was only good until it got insane. But that being said, I think that this is a very good thing. I think these studios are pulling back. They're saying, uh-uh, money's getting tight, and we're going to put our money for things that are going to pay us. And obviously, they're seeing what's paying right now. Again, going back to Top Gun Maverick, we're seeing the good storytelling of House of the Dragon. I haven't watched that show, but I've watched a lot of people... Um, who very much disagree on what media is good media and what media is bad media. Like, I watch people who think that The Last of Us 2 was a good game, and I watch people who think The Last of Us 2 was a trash game. I happen to believe Last of Us 2 was just a trash game. But when both of those people are saying, yeah, no, this is a really good show, there's probably something to it. It probably means that that show really isn't political or apolitical at best. And I think that these, that these companies are definitely going no. Especially, well, and with HBO doing House of the Dragon, they're definitely sinking a lot of money into that. So they probably don't want to pull out of their pocketbooks and their reserves and put it into anything that's going to be exorbitantly expensive. Not only that, but it seems like Abrams is having a tough time getting his shows off the ground right now in this market. This could be a very, very good thing. And I keep saying that, but I'm really hopeful. This means that the Constantine Toon movie can potentially actually be a continuation of the story. Again, I don't think that Keanu Reeves is the best Constantine. Matt Ryan utterly owns that role the way that Robert Downey Jr. owns the role of Iron Man. Matt Ryan is Constantine. The guy just oozes is charisma and fantastic in the role and i love it and i really believe that although it's not going to star matt ryan but it will star keanu reeves that this new movie could potentially have a fantastic story and a well written screenplay if we can just keep abram's hands off of that script and off of the screenplay but i guess 
we'll have to see how all that plays out so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below do you think this is the fall of jj abrams do you think he's going to start getting less power in hollywood because he's not doing anything bankable what are your guys' thoughts on this as jj abrams is now losing the ability for what was it five what was it would we count five in there five different things that he lost the ability to produce what do you guys think? Is this a good thing for storytelling? Will we see the fall of J.J. Abrams? Will we see good storytelling come back into play? What are your hopes for Constantine 2? And how do you like a drink with crazy? Well, I do appreciate all of you being here and thank you so much. And I will see you all. Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to say, I have to say this because everybody has to say it's cliche at this point. Please hit the like button for me if you would. Comment down below and talk with me. That's my favorite thing that you guys do is just commenting down below because then I get to respond to all of you guys and then I get to read your comments on Sundays. And the other thing that I would love for you to do, hey, we're almost at 750 subscribers. I think we're one or two away right now. So hit that subscribe button for me if you like my style, if you like what I'm doing. And if you think that this channel is worth your time in the future. So thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.